Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my art channel. As you can see, I've been playing around. Um, <clears throat> I've had a couple different techniques I haven't done before and you know, it didn't quite come out the way I wanted, but I, I just wanted to try and get a feel of it. Um, and you know, then I tried something else over that and something else over that. Uh, so I think now I'm just maybe just going to do a uh, either a Dutch blowout or maybe a Dutch pour over this. I don't know. Anyway, I've been having fun making a mess. Today was supposed to be a nice sunny day before the rain comes tomorrow. And it clouded up on us instead. Oh, Boo-hoo. So, it's a good, kind of a quiet day to be pouring. Put a little gold in here. I know that it's kind of strange. I think that looks like a hot dog with mustard on it. <laughs> Getting a little punchy here, I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a black uh, cell activator. It's with DecoArt uh, uh, satin enamel black with three parts Aussie Floetrol. And I'm pretty much out of the white here, so it started out as a base paint. So I'm just going to blow that out like a Dutch pour, and uh, if there isn't enough stuff here to extend the blowout, I, I have plenty more leftover paint so I can fiddle about with. So. Okay, a little weird. It's more of a Dutch blowout because the background is not a solid color. Normally this would all be solid through here and through here, so it's just kind of fading into everything. And then <laughs> this little guy did something weird. Um, I'm liking all the colors in here. It's just, it's like a psychedelic Dutch blowout, I guess. Interesting, let me torch this for a bit. And of course I can see a lot of cells coming up with both the gold, the white base that uh, reacted with the Floetrol and then the uh, black cell activator. probably tweak this a little bit here and there and I might embellish with some more black like a black outline once this dries which I think would be pretty cool and it would uh, give it a little more definition right now it's just all over the place so 
let me bring you down for the flyby. Okay. So here this is. A wild and crazy tank pour. A little bit of everything going on here. I do like the colors. I think I should have had my mind more set on something before starting out, but it's always fun to play every now and then. And just loosen up and you know try some other ideas. You can pour over them if you don't like them and see what else happens. I think that's good to do every now and then. So there you have it. I hope to come back with a dry result. I'll see you in a minute or I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye -bye. Okay, so here this is dried and varnished. I did do a lot of embellishment, uh, just adding lines to what was already existing to add a little more uh, depth and shadow. This area here I added more white little tendrils along with the black to uh, give it more depth and to kind of go along with this area here that had the black and gold. Uh, this area I made a little shadow on one side more and uh, I brought that area out more. Same with here. Uh, so there's a little more interest for your eye to travel and uh, to be on the focal point which is basically right there this center area the colors are beautiful and i love how the gold shimmers throughout all of it uh, it turned out really nicely uh, considering what a chaotic pour it was so I'm very happy with it. Uh, the embellishment did help, just to add some definition. So never be afraid to do that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the process here. Uh, thanks so much for joining me and you take care and be well, be happy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.